Good afternoon, Kurt Rosenthal with Cisco Systems, and I'm here at the SD-WAN Summit in Paris, and I'm talking with Michael Martins, CEO of Riedel Networks, and Michael, welcome. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Riedel Networks and what you do there? Yeah, well, we are a managed network service provider. Um, we're doing business with, for multinational corporations, building corporate networks, um, and we do that the traditional way, uh, in um, actual words, to say we are doing the underlay network, and with the help of Cisco, we're doing the overlay network as well. Well, thanks, Michael. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the services that Riedel Networks offers, especially to business customers? Well, to business customers, we do offer international connectivity. And that is, on one hand, on the underlay network or transport network via MPLS, but as well, the overlay network with managed SD-WAN services. And that includes Cisco Web Taylor, that includes the ENCS, so a universal CPE x86 device where um, our customers, let's say system integrators for example, do their business based on the virtual machines you can run on that element. Excellent. And are there any other Cisco products that you use to help you be successful in the managed services market? Yeah, well, um, we, we have a management platform which is called Cisco MSX Managed Service Accelerator for whatever that extends definitely. <laughs> Very interesting abbreviation, I have to say. But um, yeah, that MSX platform is helping us to, to attach these several service packs, whether it's Cisco Big Taylor, ENCS, SD Branch, and as well, managed devices, which helps us to automate our software defined network. And that is a good help, I have to say, because that is freeing up resources in our network operation center. Excellent. And what are your predictions for the future of managed services, managed SD WAN? How do you see the market going? Well, today probably 10% of our revenues on managed SD-WAN, whereby 90% of the revenue is traditional networks. My assumption, and I'm pretty sure that that is shared by many analysts as well, is that this will turn around into 90% SD-WAN and 10% normal transport networks um, with an increased rate of something between 20 to 25% year on year. Um, and that is not a good hope. That is something we do see. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Michael. Best of luck and great working with you, as yeah. always. Welcome. Thank you.